because I meet plenty of confident people all the time who have no idea what they're doing. And ladies, I know you know what I'm talking about here because you meet plenty of guys who are confident and not competent. And those are not the guys that you go for. You can have a guy who walks up to you, tons of confidence, and he comes across as arrogant, obnoxious, and sleazy, and you don't even wanna to speak to him for another minute. And by the way, ladies, if you wanna put yourself in control, if you actually wanna have power, personal power in your day, I'm not talking about power over men, because I don't believe in that. I'm talking about personal power, where you know how to influence, and you know how to get what you need out of a situation. The way to get your power back is to know how to influence a guy. It's to know how to talk to him is to know how to be competent. The woman that I expressed to you in my example, that woman who, who knew, consciously or unconsciously, I don't know if it came naturally to her or if she knew exactly what she was doing, I suspect the latter, but that woman, because she was competent, was able to make, turn me into the guy that enjoyed calling her instead of the guy who just texted her. And the crazy part about being competent is that the, the guys who act the wrong way around other women will often act the right way around the woman who knows what she's doing. It's crazy, but it's true. Which is why people who are competent often can't understand the problems that everyone else goes through.